tired wandering around the woods today and got a review for you today. We're gonna be looking at the Helicon Tech Essential Kit Bag. Uh, this bag is a um, small canteen carrier that you can use for scouts, uh, short hikes, um, day hikes, whatever you want to, you know, whatever, however you want to use it. But it's a pretty interesting product, and I. I was pretty enamored with it when I first saw it online, and I finally ordered one, got it in, been messing around with it, filling it up, and I want to show it to you guys, so stick around. All right, there it is. That's the Helicon Tech Essential Kit Bag. Basically what this is, is a small uh, bag that holds a canteen or a Nalgene, um, along with a cook set, and all the essentials you need for a day hike. It really forces you to kind of examine how much stuff you're going to carry with you. You can't take a lot with you in this thing because it's not that big. And that's nice because I, I tend to overpack on a lot of times. And uh, this is going to force you to really think about what you bring with you. So we're going to open it up and I'm going to show you what I got inside mine. So I'm out scouting around today looking for um, some spots to do some uh, bow hunting this uh, fall. Something I'm going to try for the first time in a long time. I got a new crossbow. I need to get sighted in and I need to scout out spots to hunt and, and to shoot and all that good stuff. So one thing I wanted to take with me today is something that I can carry some water in and uh, just the essentials because I really don't need that much stuff with me. It's not, I'm not far from the car. Uh, I'm out on a trail. So it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't need a ton of survival gear with me to, to make it through the day. So this kit bag it really is perfect for that. Um, like I said, 500D uh, Cordura, fast tech buckles, quality zippers. Um, it's built to last. It's a nice piece of equipment, really built well, and the price is not too bad, under $55 if you can find it online. Uh, Let's get to it right away. So the lid pocket opens up and you've got a nice mesh storage area here and I've got some some wax discs for fire starting. Inside here I've got my my Keith uh, titanium canteen. Some people will know it as the heavy cover canteen made by Keith. Got the lid in the back. There's the canteen, and there's the cup. Now this bag's dimensions will fit a full-size 32-ounce analogy along with the cup too. It doesn't have to be a canteen, so that gives you some options. I think that's really nice because a lot of the, sometimes these other carriers I've seen they only really carry canteens. They don't carry other stuff very well. This seems to do both, from what I've read, and that's a great feature. here is a slip pocket and there's a couple elastic you see down in there a couple elastic uh, webbing so you can insert like a pen or maybe a spoon something like that I don't have anything in here right now but it runs the full length of the bag and on this zipper pocket There is a sewn loop so you can actually tether any kind of equipment you've got w with you into it, which is nice. I've got uh, fire steel. Got some fat wood. Got my match cap XL. And then I've got a roll of gorilla tape. A little mesh slip pocket on the side here. This pocket on this side. I've got some tea, some sugar, and um, a couple of stinger bars in here, or one stinger bar. So I've actually got a snack and a uh, means of making some coffee or tea. Back on the side here I've got a lighter. 
I've got my little stream light, micro stream flashlight. And then I got my CRKT eating tool. So this side is exactly a mirror of the other side. It has a mesh pocket and it has this tether point that you can latch your gear into. Now the cover, the lid on this thing is slightly padded. So that's going to help protect your canteen kit so it doesn't get banged up. It would also make a really nice uh, camera bag too. I think you could probably fit a small mirrorless uh, camera system into this thing. I haven't tried it yet. I don't have a small camera, but um, I think it would work for sure. Got the Helicon Tech Bushcraft line patch, which is leather. It's kind of neat. Okay, moving to the back. This is a this is a really cool feature. This is something that I think is unique to this product. Um, the ability to carry a knife in the back um, is awesome. And I've got my Mora Cans Bowl in here. And I've got it uh, strapped into this D-ring. See that? There's a D-ring back here. So I run the strap through that so I don't lose my knife. But that comes out. And this pocket goes all the way to the bottom and it velcros at the bottom so if you don't want to lose anything you can velcro it shut and that becomes a closed pocket or you can open it up and now you can run a longer item like a hatchet or a tomahawk through the back of this. It's also molly compatible. There's the molly right there so you can strap it to a pack. Uh, it has belt loops so you can run it through the belt of a pack like if, so your larger packs like your ILBE or um, any kind of backpacking back that bag that has a, a large hip padded hip belt this will slip through that which is an awesome feature and then it has a removable shoulder strap with these fast tech buckles And the shoulder strap itself is nice. It's, uh, I believe that's a two inch uh, webbing on that. So it gives you a nice, um, it, it disperses the weight nicely on your shoulder because it's two inch, it doesn't dig in. That's what I like about it. <clears throat> and there's a little bit of a yoke design to this. If you can see that here, see that kind of Y shape between the two straps right there. So it fits on the back of your hip pretty nicely it rides really well because of how this strap is designed the straps not on the side stuck on the sides so the bag doesn't dangle or um, flop around a lot it really sticks to your back and that's what I like about it but this back pocket I think is ingenious um, this ability to slip in your knife and carry it is just awesome the bottom of the bag is grommeted, so there actually is a drain hole on right here. So in case you get any kind of water buildup or leakage in your in your uh, water bottle, it's going to come out this hole right here, which is nice. That helps keep the bag inside dry. Uh, colors, uh, you can get this in multicam, black. I think there's a gray, there's a coyote brown, there's a olive drab kind of color, and then of course the multicam, which I got. Um, Really a nice looking piece of bat, uh, kit here. And these side pockets um, hold an amazing amount of stuff. I'm pretty impressed with that. I can get a lot in here. All right, guys, that's it for today. Just a short video. I just wanted to show you this new piece of kit I got. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I need to get back out on the trail here and start scouting spots, and I need to get uh, get my crossbow out and start shooting it this afternoon, too. Um, Got to get ready for deer season. Haven't done that before, and I want to try it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's a beautiful day out here, and I need to get out, back at it and get some stuff done. So we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Thanks for watching.